Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and on today's tips and tricks, we're going to cover collets, cups, and tungsten. Let's talk about selecting the proper tungsten type to use in your new inverter machine for both AC and DC process. Basically, there's three that are recommended. That would be your orange top. It's also gray in the Longevity brand, but it's 2% serrated. You have the blue, which is 2% lanthanated. They also make a gold top that's not shown here, but it's 1.5% lanthanated. Now for a DC only operation, you can use the red top, which is the 2% thoriated. Something that shouldn't be used or not recommended to use in the machine is the green on the AC side. Some of us older welders are used to using the pure tungsten and it balls up on the end but it's really not suitable for the features of an inverter type machine. Let's talk briefly on selecting the proper tungsten size. For most of us what we're going to use in the shop between 40 and 220 amps max would be the 332nd in size and I would go ahead and suggest like for a do-all tungsten the 2% serrated either an orange or a gray top and 332nd in size will cover just about every shop task that you have it's not exactly perfect for getting down you know maybe 40 30 amps for something like that you want to select 16th and I've welded 9 thousandths with 16th and taken that all the way up to about 60 thousandths then you go for your range for your 332nd in size which would be about 40, 40 amps all the way up to 220 I do switch over to the full 8th inch when I'm doing aluminum it just stabilizes better there's a better ability to absorb the, the heat that's put into it with the high frequency and high balance that I use. So I jump up to 8 and when I'm about in 188 wall uh, aluminum up. Now we'll touch on the collet bodies and the collet. These are matched to the size tungsten that you're going to use. So if you're using a 16th tungsten, you're going to use a 16th collet body and a 16th collet to hold it down in the torch. What you see next to this is a gas lens and this is what I tend to use most of the time. The gas lens has a little screen in it and what this does is it allows the shielding gas to come down and cover especially if you're going to use more stick out to get down in a tight spot. It's a really good way to get a very non turbulent flow of argon and good coverage on your workpiece. For sharpening your tungsten, you want to do it with the grain of the wheel. I choose to do it up so I can actually see the point that I'm putting on the tungsten. It's also totally acceptable to come in and sharpen it in this method. Use a dedicated grinder that's only used for tungsten so you don't contaminate it. So now we have the shielding cups. We have a 4, 5, and 6. Now how do you know what to select for which one? Well, with your 16th tungsten, you're going to select probably a 4 or a 5. Uh, what this is going to do, it's going to keep the shielding gas tighter around the smaller tungsten and give you more shielding. Uh, there's going to be some times when you're welding with some 332nd and you need to get real down deep into something you know maybe then you switch to a number four and that way you maybe don't have to have as much stick out and still get the proper shielding here we have the WP20 water cooled torch that comes with a lot of the longevity machines I'll show you my setup and we'll build the torch on how I use it for most of my projects on a daily basis I've selected a gas lens and that's 332nd in size so that gets screwed into the torch and then we have for our collet we have a 332nd we'll drop that in and then normally I just use the long and I just screw that in and then I will insert our 332nd tungsten 
and I'll just kind of get that in and get it tight. And then I have a number seven gas lens that I use for most of my stuff. So we'll screw that in. Now we'll talk about tungsten stick out. How much do you want? Depends on what you're doing, but a standard stick out is anywhere between maybe three sixteenths to maybe even a quarter inch. There's times when I need to weld down into something that I'll have this thing out maybe even a half inch uh, to get down in tight. And what happens is the gas flow with the gas lens actually gives you a better shielding. There's less turbulence. It'll actually cover this and stabilize the arc. That's it for today's tips and tricks. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel, and I'll catch you here next time.